Right. Tonight on Graft Diaries, we reveal uh, to you how four state agencies withdrew money from the exchequer without parliamentary approval. A total of 8 billion Kenya shillings was withdrawn, raising questions over the state's commitment in ensuring proper expenditure controls. Katie and Zabi again carries on with our continued coverage of the Graft Diaries. The country loses close to a third of the budget each year through dubious expenditures within government circles. To put it in context, according to the Office of the Auditor General, Kenya loses an estimated 300 billion shillings annually. This is enough money to fund all the 47 counties for one year and still have a net surplus of about 50 million shillings. And determine the credibility of any of the evidence any of us has presented to you. If you are to make a determination, for instance, Mr. Chairman, that none of the evidence I have submitted before you. We know this journey is replete with challenges. It is also full of hope and promises. In the latest report compiled by the Parliamentary Accounts Committee, PAC, covering three years from 2011 to 2013, serious concerns are now being raised over the inconsistent expenditures being incurred by the government. We will sustain strong action to combat this evil and all its manifestations. From the PAC report, excess expenditure incurred during financial year 2012-2013 without parliamentary approval totaled to 38 million shillings, 495,253 shillings, compared to a whooping 7.4 billion shillings recorded in the previous year. The excess expenditure of 38 million shillings, 495,253 did not take into account pending bills totaling to 43 billion shillings, which though relating to the 2012-2013 were however not settled in that year, but were instead carried forward to the financial year of 2013-2014. The Parliamentary Accounts Committee in its report following the unapproved expenditures notes, and I quote, It is the committee's considered position that expenditure without parliamentary approval constitutes a grave violation of the Constitution and must be severely punished and seized forthwith. The committee recommends that stern action be taken by the appointing authority against accounting officers and treasury officials responsible for the breach of the letter and spirit of the constitution. The DPP should also seriously consider prosecution. Further, the cabinet secretary, national treasury, must promptly institute stringent measures to ensure fiscal discipline in the public sector. Corruption remains a major obstacle to our national development agenda. Government processes will become more transparent in 2015. In, ad in addition to the existing menu of policy and institutional frameworks, my government will digitize public service transactions to make them more transparent and thereby eradicate the opportunity for corruption. The war on corruption must be won. The sums with the drone to be used by the four state agencies seem to paint a picture of the growing fears of government spending taxpayers' money without following the appropriate channels. Ideally, for a state agency to incur additional expenditure outside the already allocated budget, the cabinet secretary is by law required to table the estimates in parliament to seek its approval. The sums of money spent without parliamentary approval in the year under review total to about 7.5 billion shillings. So what really can this money do? For a start, this money is enough to fund half the cost of the Outer Ring Road project, estimated to cost 14 billion shillings. Better still, this amount can fund the construction of 3,000 kilometers of road under the government's road energy plan. The mind-boggling figures of amounts lost or unaccounted for paints a picture of a country at the mercy of officers who do not feel they have to follow the law when using public money. Even more frustrating for the taxpayer is that nothing ever seems to be done about it. Abiyagina, KTN Prime.